when you think about the Cabot brand, you think about cheese, but today we're going to talk about butter with our favorite spokes farmer, Amanda Freund from Cabot Creamery Cooperative. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. I'm so happy to be here. We're happy to have you back. Tell us again about Cabot's award-winning butter. Oh my goodness, this is my favorite topic because I have yet to find something that's not better with butter. So we have truly award-winning butter and a lot of your baking recipes for Thanksgiving and the holidays might call for unsalted butter. This recipe that we're gonna do together today actually specifically calls for salted butter. Okay. Um, so we're not baking, we're cooking. Um, but our butter is actually just this week, I saw another uh, article that identified Cabot's butter as being their go-to for all their cooking needs. And as you get ready to share some of your amazing recipes, let's remind our viewers about Cabot's impressive accomplishments. Yes, so Cabot Creamery is a certified B Corp. We are the first dairy cooperative in the country to actually establish ourselves as a B Corp, which means that we're using our business as a force of good. And we've also been a farmer owned cooperative since 1919. So we've been doing this for a while and we're really committed to quality products for your family's table. Oh, you really are. And we can put it in so many recipes today. You've got a treat for us. What are you going to make for us? So Brussels sprouts might get a bad rap at some of your family meals and I am here to help you switch it up. I know when you're cooking for the holidays, there's a lot of different things that you're trying to keep your focus on. And this particular recipe is so simple, like five ingredients, and you don't have to worry, be worried about texture or consistency. It's really basic. So it is a smashed Brussels sprouts with Cabot cheddar cheese. So I boiled up my Brussels sprouts. So this is how we started. Um, and these are actually local and in season for folks all along the mid-Atlantic. And I boiled them. So then they reach the consistency of being able to get smashed. So I've got lots of different textures going on here. And you can take out your anger in this experience. Like really mash them hard. <laughs> All and that holiday angst kids, we have. <laughs> yeah. So the next thing is to just blend in half a cup of cream, a cup of shredded cheddar, and some salt, pepper, and just a little dash of nutmeg. It adds like a nice subtle flavor to it. Pop that in the oven and it gets toasted perfectly brown mm. with the cheese on top. And it's really palatable, really delicious, creamy, cheesy, salty, and you stuck a vegetable in there. I love that. So we can trick the kids into eating some, huh? <laughs> Hopefully. That's always helpful. So where can we go for more recipes and to learn more? And what else will we find when we go to that website? Yes, if you go to Cabot, creamery.com you'll find this recipe which was actually contributed by one of our farmer families as well as some of the stories behind our farmer members all the different types of products that cabot creamery offers and what being a b corp cooperative actually looks like and, and feels like i have to ask you amanda do you have a favorite dish for cabot creamery's butter or cheeses um this oh time of goodness. year or is it just the one that you showed us Oh no, let's see. I, well, mac and cheese. I mean, that's a yes. staple in my farmhouse. And so if you're thinking about really wanting to like put cheese on the table at Thanksgiving, <laughs> that includes your milk and your cream cheese and your shredded cheese so and your butter. So yes. it's all the things. Um, that's my go-to. I love that. And I love that you taught us how to make the veggies first so we can eat it with that and then it balances all out. I love it. Amanda Freund, thank you so much for being with us and all of your helpful holiday tips. We really appreciate it and we're very hungry right now. And we'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this, stay tuned.